So, some factorising to do, which one gets slightly harder than the one before it. First one fairly easy, factorise 6 plus 9x, well 3 goes into 6, and it goes into 9. So take your 3 out, you need a 2 to give you the 6, and you're going to need 3x to give you the 9x. And you can always check these, ask yourself if you expand, will you get 6 plus 9x? 3, 2, 6, 3 times 3x, 9x. Now the next one, this is called the difference of two squares. You've got y squared, and of course you've got um, minus 4 squared. So this is written out as y plus 4 times y minus 4. And I'll just write what I meant there. So the difference of 2 squares, 16, is 4 squared. So under those circumstances, you're going to have a plus 4 and a minus 4. That gets rid of any y term in the middle. You'll get minus 16, and you'll get y squared. On to the last. Well, we've got 2p squared, so at the s we're going to factorise this into two uh, linear brackets. So we're going to have 2p and p is the only way we can get 2p squared. We've now we've got a lot of factors of 10, and we've got to choose either 1 and 10, or 2 and 5. And we've got to arrange it so we get a difference of negative 1. So this will come from the 2 and the 5, and we need the negative number to be larger. So I'm going to have minus 5, and that multiplication there will give me minus 5p. And then if I put my plus 2 at the end, then when I multiply 2 times 2p, I'll get 4p, and 4p minus 5p will give me the minus p. So I've now factorised it correctly. You could expand this out. I'll just do a little bit. I'll do, I'll do that. So if I do 2p times p, you'll get 2p squared. Then you'll get 2p times 2, gives you 4p. Minus 5p, that's the minus 5 times p. Minus 5 times p, and finally the minus 5 times the plus 2 gives you the minus 10. And of course this simplifies to give you the minus p. So that's my check that I've done it right.